So guys, for the first step, you're going to get into this screen. Now to get here, you're going to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you're going to turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You're going to repeat this three times. So you're going to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you're going to turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times and then on the fourth time when you turn your computer on again, it will then take you into this screen. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you're going to click on advanced options. And then once you're on this, I'm going to be showing you two different ways on how you can fix this problem. So for the first method, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then System Restore. If you do not see System Restore, then you want to click on Seam Recovery Options. Then it should appear right here. So you want to click on System Restore. And then once you're on this, if you have any restore points enabled on your computer, then you want to click on Next and then go back to your restore point. If you don't, that's fine, we're going to click on Cancel. And now for the second method, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then Command Prompt. And then once you're on this, you want to type in bootrec space forward slash fix mbr. Click on enter. Now you want to type in bootrec space forward slash fix boot. Click on enter again. If it says access is denied, just ignore it. Now we're going to type in bootrec space forward slash rebuild bcd. Click on enter again. Now we're going to type in sfc space forward slash scan now and click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. Wait for this to load. I'm going to skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. And now for the last command, you're going to type in chkdsk space full slash f space full slash r space c colon. Click on enter. You now want to run this scan as well. Wait for this to load. Now, as you can see in my case, there's still 12 minutes left for this scan to run. So I'm just going to end the video here. But in your case, you just want to fully complete the scan. Once you fully complete the scan, you're just going to close out of this. Now you're going to continue to Windows and then the problem should be fixed.